Um, okay. We need to take the electronics off of this thing. So the motor, the batteries, um, the step down. We're gonna put it on this thing. Can't yeah, get we it in are. the frame. <laughs> Uh, test for the go kart. Uh, this is the uh, second, ver third version of this go kart we've done mm -hmm. with a new upgraded uh, motor and drive system. So we'll plug in the 72 volt batteries, which are 12 or six 12 volt batteries, and then the key switch. Which is this is that the right one? Now, the motor's there, the key switch is on, and here we go. That's nice. And it works. It does work. First try. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we sort of mounted the battery tray. We half mounted it. We welded the back two sides. Um, and we need to mount the motor now. So I banged off the two pieces um, that were connected to there. I only welded them on one side so they'd be easy to take off. Um, because that's where the old motor mounted. And so we're gonna weld on another mount. I'm still trying to find it. I think what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm going to take this plate I have right here and just sort of weld it like that um, because then the motor will mount where my thumb is and the chain will come right back to the sprocket. Um, we can move the sprocket if we want so that's no big deal. Um, so I'm just going to weld that, probably weld the battery tray to that plate as well because the battery tray isn't on very well right now. Okay. So we just uh, welded on the battery tray uh, with some with some bolts and the motor mount. Um, so we're gonna drill the holes now. Okay, uh, so we need to align the sprocket and the motor and then mount the motor. Um, and we need to align it nearly perfectly so the chain doesn't come off while we're driving. Um, so we can align the motor. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get this out.
Right here, we have the stick from a uh, Power Wheels. So I'm gonna try to use a multimeter and check the resistance in different positions of all these wires, and that should do. That right there. That right there is a piece of the inside of the switch that is exposed. The other ones are covered up in hot glue, but that single one is exposed. And that right there connects to this black wire when you put it in the middle position. So I need to somehow solder on there or get to that part of the switch. Okay, so here, focus. This is how I'm accessing that little uh, port that I showed you a second ago. So you can see right there. Um, so I took it apart and I decided that I needed to drill a small hole here, wire something through, and just solder it to that connector. So that's what I did, and I think we're going to put it back together and see if it works. If you turn it on now, um, I soldered some connectors on, did the wiring, Ooh, focus. Um, and now, look at this. So, you push this forward most, okay, and then you press on the gas pedal, very fast, okay. Um, that was like a third of the throttle too. Um, now if you put it to medium range in the middle and you press this slow I'm pushing it reverse. So I'm gonna try to weld a little plate right here coming off of this um, to put that shifter Give me some meat. So first, um, <laughs> that was like a tenth of the throttle. Dude, look at that. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. Put Wait. Come with me, right? Okay. So you let go. You see this? I see it. I see a burnout. <laughs> I see a burnout for the boys. Oh my God. Dude, it's smooth. Oh, you go reverse? Yeah. Whoever's that watching was just this. Decided. That was just decided. We're putting in a handbrake. We'll make it so that it's a much stronger thing. So you move it like an inch and it blocks the brake out. Right, yeah. Um yeah. Okay, so we've decided to build a handbrake with this. And I'm slotting it right now so we can put it on the brake line how it is. And we'll just weld it there, cut it about here, and we might come up with some parking brake mechanism so you can just pull it up and it latches. To park on hills and stuff. So, doing that now. Alright, so we just finished welding on the handbrake as well as the support right there. Just to keep it straight. 
so there's not too much movement in the pipe side to side, but uh, we'll have to reinforce it some more. Okay, so we've done a few things off camera. Number one, uh, we moved the seat for, uh, no, we moved it backwards because it's just too small the way it was. Um, so we moved it back like, I'd say like six inches and it's right up against the battery tray now. We added some struts on each side to make sure it's strong enough. And uh, what else do we do? Oh yeah, so we also mounted the speed controller on a on two pieces of rebar welded to the back of the seat because the way it was it was just on the back of the seat it wasn't going to fit also I think this looks way better I don't know but it's also much more comfortable to sit in now um, I mean that was kind of the whole purpose of it but it makes so much of a difference and we lubricated the shifter so yeah it's, it's pretty good the light switch wire fell out, so we're going to need to rewire that to use the light, and we should probably mount that once and for all. Uh, take the zip tie off and mount it with a screw, but it's more challenging than that sounds because of the way the mount is set up, so uh, it'll probably be tomorrow. But yeah, looks pretty good to me. Okay, so I figured I'd give a little bit of a brief summary uh, about what we've done in this video. It might have been a little bit confusing with all of the cut-up clips, but we moved the motor and battery tray from our mini bike and motorcycle to the go-kart. We mounted and aligned the motor and the sprocket. We wired the shifter with reverse first and second gears. We attached a handbrake and we installed a car horn. <laughs> Um, the shifter just has first and second gears, and the second gear reaches a top speed of about 30 miles an hour, but I think when it gets a little warmer out, it'll be closer to 35, um, with the batteries in a better condition. Uh, so we're going to be filming some more stuff with the go-kart today, and we're going to be posting some stuff soon. So if you liked this, definitely stay and check out those videos. Um, but thank you for watching.